Hi, I'm Roseanne Kermis. I'm a licensed designer for Sizzix, and today I want to show you my penny rug mat die. If you're a, a wool applique person, you know how hard it is to cut perfect scallops. So with this die, you'll be able to cut a mat of any size by just using the, the shape on the die. If you wanted a mat that was a little bit shorter than this, which is actually the size of the die, and if you wanted your mat to be a little bit longer, all you need to do is fold your piece of wool to the length that you want and cut it. But here's how you cut one layer. You lay the, your piece of wool over the mat die and sandwich it between the two pieces of, of acrylic. A good tip here is to make sure that no wool comes off either side of the, of the die because it will uh, distort your shape. And now you just crank it through. And when you're all done, you have a perfectly cut mat. And it's always the same size as the one that you cut before. So you can match them up to make a front and back. Now let's say you wanted just a skinnier uh, mat. So you wanted one that was just three scallops long. All you need to do there is take a piece of tape and lay it down on the mat so you know how far you need to, to cut. And what I usually do is I'll cut a piece of wool with a straight edge but it makes sure it extends beyond the cut edge of the, of the die. And then I lay my wool on top, lining it up with the, that edge, run it through my, my die cut machine, and I have another piece that's just the right size. One of the things you can make with a die like this by segmenting it is this little mat here. And what I did with this is I included the penny circles and tongues die that I created for Sizzix that, you, that are on another die set. And I used some other elements from the quilting dies from Sizzix to, to embellish in the middle. You can use any die that you have in your collection to make something like that. Another version is I want to make this into a little pouch. So I cut with just the three scalps, but I only cut it up to a certain point. And I use my ruler to measure it, and I either draw a line with a piece of chalk or I use a piece of tape to um, tell myself how far I need it to be. But this is just a sweet little pouch. And again, I've used segments from the penny dies and penny tongues and circles mat uh, die to, to embellish with there. This is fun because I wanted to make a needle keeper. So what I did with that is I cut a partial cut of the scallop. I didn't bring it all the way up to the end. I only did part way. And now when I fold it, I'll be able to sew this into a cute little needle keeper by putting some more uh, die cuts on top to embellish it. Same with this pin cushion. I use two of the scallops and I crisscross them. So I have a set going this way and another set going this way. And I used some other uh, uh, dies from Sizzix to make this pin cushion. And right before I finished, I stuffed it with some stuffing so I'd have something to put my pins into. So this is something that I've been doing in 2016 with American Patchwork and Quilting's Quilts and More magazine. I've created a series of pouches that are seasonal, one for every issue throughout 2016. And I've used the die cut for the scallops to make my pouches. You can follow along with me in this magazine as I create these projects throughout the year. And I hope you'll use them as inspiration for your own projects and that you'll find some inspiration here with the dies that I've created for Sizzix.